It may come down, Ronald, to how hard a tournament they've actually had, and the best boxers always save a little bit to the last. And and we shall see now, in terms of the fitness, how fit these guys are. But it would it would do them the world of good if they've had an easier tournament because they've got to produce their best in the last bout of the competition. So beneath the hooded figure is the man nicknamed Tiny Giant. Johannes Argilagos, just 20 years of age, is the man from Kamgi in Cuba. But he's already a reigning world champion. He's looking to retain that title tonight. He's the number one ranked boxer in the world. The tournament number one seed. And from his point of view, the man who has proved to be his personal nemesis in re the recent couple of years, Jubergen Martinez of Cuba, has been eliminated by this man. Sam Boydus Matov is the tournament number two seed. He's ranked number two in the world. He's the reigning Olympic champion and also took the Val Barker trophy during Rio 2016, given every Olympiad to the most stylish boxer. He's the man who's eliminated Jubergen Martinez, who has given Argilagos so much trouble in re the recent couple of the most recent couple of years. But the bad news from Argilagos' point of view is that in the two counters he's had with Hassan Boydouz Matov, he has yet to have his hand raised as the victor. So looking for his first win in this, this third encounter tonight, he was a unanimous point decision winner over Jomart Yerjan of Kazakhstan at the semi-final stage. And he has been accurate and precise with his work all tournament long. How will he approach this gold medal bout? against a man who has bested him twice before in their two previous encounters. Hassan Boydouz Matov, the tournament number two seed, has posted unanimous points decision victories all the way, including an absolute thriller at the semi-final stage against Jubergen Martinez, repeating the victory that he enjoyed over Martinez at the Olympic final last year. His more eye-catching shots impressing the judges more than the incessant work rate and accurate punch picking of the man from Colombia. So it's a terrific atmosphere here at the Hamburg Sport Halle as the two boxers are given their final instructions. So it's the reigning defending world champion against the reigning Olympic champion squaring off for the third time in their rivalry. Something has got to give tonight. So we're underway then. It's the first of a scheduled three three-minute rounds in the 49-kilogram light flyweight division between the best two boxers in the world currently at this weight. The boxer wearing red is the reigning world champion from Doha two years ago, got through with a good right hand to the body. And that is Johannes Argilagos, just 20 years of age, ranked number one in the world. He's the tournament number one seed. And the man nicknamed the Tiny Giant looking to target that right hand against the Southport, the reigning Olympic champion, Hassan Boydus Matov, ranked number two in the world, 24 years of age now. And he was crowned as the Val Barker Trophy winner, as the most stylish boxer in Rio 2016. We've said many times during this tournament how important it is to win that first round. Um, and that could well be the case here. Does Matov is on that front foot? He's trying to force the pace, but this is a very clever Cuban indeed. Argi Lagos just waits. He's against the southpaw and he's trying to land with that right hand, but he's, he's letting Does Matov actually come onto that shot. And Does Matov just walked him onto a good southpaw right jab. But what is noticeable, Richie, both through this tournament and when we've covered Argi Lagos in the past, is that this is a far brisker start than we've seen him make previously. Immediately, immediately looking to attack as he switches to the southpaw stance and looking for his own punches rather than adopting this posture, which he does so often for the first minute of a round. Right hand wasn't too far away from Argi Lagos. Does Matov targeting the southpaw left. It was partially blocked. 
by the right glove of Argilagos. See, both boxers here can't afford to make mistakes. Once you've landed the shot and then you're on your way out, you've got to get out quicker because your opponent will come back. You're against an opponent who, who's equal in terms of the quality and the level of boxing that these, these two are at. But if one of them makes a mistake in that they land a shot and on the way out, they do it too slow, then they get caught. So you can't afford to make any type of mistake oh. against this class of opponent. Beautiful left hand from Argilagos after he made his opponent miss as well. Tucking up tightly, looking for single shot success. Left hand was a little bit long. Does Matos scores with a good left hand to the body? And that was a perfect example. Argilagos had just held his feet after he landed his shot, and that allowed Dozmatov then to work the body. And again, look, he's got to move here, Argilagos Ronald. He's just holding the feet a little bit too long. When he's in and out, he's difficult to hit. When he holds his feet, Dozmatov lands those body shots. And cries of Hassan Boy, Hassan Boy, as Argilagos grins his gum shield contemptuously in the direction. Of Dusmatov, 10 second clapper sound, but it's barely audible here in the Hamburg Sport Halle. Dusmatov with a forward foray, and the boxers ending this first round in a clinch, a round of high skill in the first three minutes. Yeah, very good boxing from both lads in that round. Dusmatov started quite well, but Argilagos came back into it, and when he did get on his bike, hitting and moving. Such a hard man to nail down when he holds his feet. That allows the little man in blue to land those body shots. He is, does Matov just trying to land that left hand there. Good body shots in. That was better see from Argilagos. Just nips out after he's landed his shot, gets back to the safety distance, safety zone. Another good shot there from the man in red. It was a close round, wasn't it? So we're into the second round in this light flyweight gold medal bout between the best two light flyweight boxers in the world. This is the third meeting between the two of them as does Matov scored effectively to the body to be counted immediately by the same shot from Argilagos. The two previous encounters have come in World Series boxing in season five and in season, season seven. And in both of those contests, it's the man in blue who has been declared the winner. He gets through with a long southpaw left there. Argilagos switching to the southpaw stance, hands down by his belt line, making Dusmatov miss, but didn't make him pay with a counter. Occasionally, you, you can draw Argilagos in, and, and we've seen him hold his feet a couple of times in this tournament, but it's horses for courses, and you, you have to pick the right tactics. And like I say, when Argilagos is hitting and moving, then he's a much more difficult opponent to hit when he's holding his feet, and that's where Dusmatov has got to try and pin him he's got to try and pin him on those ropes and just restrict that movement a little bit then he's going to be more successful the Uzbek and he's coming looking for him with that southpaw left once again as both boxers standing in the pocket pecking poking jabs landed by Argilagos who switches southpaw once again and gets through with a long southpaw left cross approaching the halfway stage of the second round good left jab landed by Argilagos but comes forward, does does Matov, and pins his man square to the ropes and got through with a good left hook to the body. Yeah. You see those gloves embossed with the word final, special memento for the boxers, just reinforcing that they are indeed contesting world championship gold here at Hamburg 2017. Long right hand was a good shot from does Matov, and he tried the same one again. He nicely evaded by Argilagos. Straight left to the body is a straight a good shot from the man in blue. And because Argilagos is moving the way he is, see, that's better now from Dusmatov. See, Argilagos there, just, just at a lapsing concentration, gets back onto the ropes and then that brings Dusmatov in. You've got to hit and move. You must hold centre of the ring against um, uh, Dusmatov and move around him 
rather than moving backwards onto those ropes. Just occasionally, Argelagos just takes his eye off the ball and, and then he, he's, he's, he gets caught here and there. Good right hand to the body from Argelagos, but again, it does Matov, who is on the front foot, as Argelagos dodging, darting left and right on the ropes, countered with a good right hand, but was caught by a left on the retreat from Dusmatov. Dusmatov with a salvo as he comes onto the front foot once again. Closing seconds of the second round, and when Argilagos adopts this posture, invariably Dusmatov works away to the body with accurate punch picking. Yeah, another close round. Argilagos scoring with some lovely shots. His movement is excellent, but too many times in that round for me, held his feet, got caught with some silly shots, really, and his corner won't be happy with that. Well, there's a resident of Hamburg now, the man who won super heavyweight gold for Ukraine at the 1996 Olympic Games and recently retired heavyweight champion who lost his final contest in an absolute epic at Wembley Stadium. That's Dr. Steelhammer Vladimir Klitschko, an interested observer here at the Hamburg Sports Haller, and he's witnessing a terrific contest. Argilagos there, some good movement. Just gets caught as Dusmatov comes forward. Argilagos, when he's on the move, difficult man to pin down. But when he holds his feet, that allows Dusmatov in on the inside. But good work there from the man in red. Argilagos electing to stand. Does Matov taking a seat on his stool and getting those legs worked on as we prepare for the third and final round. So we're into the third and final round then in this third instalment of this enthralling rivalry between the best two light flyweight boxers in the world. The man wearing blue is the reigning Olympic champion. That's Hassan Boydos Matov from Uzbekistan, the tournament number two seed. The man in red is the reigning defending world champion from Doha, Qatar, two years ago. And the two rounds to this point have seen some exquisite skill demonstrated by both boxers as Dus Matov gets through with a good right hand. So much thought going behind each attack as the boxers are trying to work and fashion an opening that they can exploit. When Argil Argos is on, you know, he, he starts to concentrate a lot more. His, his timing and his boxing skills are exceptional, they really are. He just nips in and counter-attacks a lot of the time. He actually beats uh, Dusmatov to the punch, but that takes really precise timing. It, you know, it takes an excellently skilled boxer to do that. He is very skillful indeed, is Argil Argos. He just lapses in concentration occasionally and, and he gets caught does mat off again is the boxer getting onto that front foot trying to walk his man down and you've made the point throughout the tournament richie that even if you are a back foot maestro occasionally you have to demonstrate to the judges that you can force your opponent backwards not only is argilagos moving to the side, he's spending a lot of time moving backwards. We saw Iglesias yesterday at the semi-final stage produce a masterclass of moving to the side and driving an incessant front foot forward, back front foot boxer backwards. Nice evasive manoeuvre once again from Argilagos, but he couldn't evade the follow-up as Hassan Boyders Matov came with a two-phase attack, and the second phase was effective. Yet yeah, does Matov is starting to get through with his shots. Argilagos again holding his feet, he's willing to trade. It's a lot of single shots coming from the man in red. Whereas Dusmatov, he's, he's throwing more twos and threes. And I just think it's the wrong tactic there for Argilagos. He's taking him on at Dusmatov's own game and he shouldn't be doing that for me. Holding his feet once again before getting onto his bike, Argilagos. Counter right hand went over the head of Dusmatov. Dusmatov's backhand was short by some distance. Closing seconds, as again, both sets of supporters cheering on their man. Concentra concentration remaining absolute between these two. As they look to produce a quality finish that will resonate in the mind of the judges. Does Matov bobbing, weaving, picked off by a good left hand there from Argilagos. Yeah, he just waits, doesn't he? He waits for that precise moment, but Dusmatov comes back more. You see, again, Argilagos did some good stuff, holds his feet, gets caught to the body, and it's, it, it, it's as if it's a stalemate then, Ronald. And what will the judges prefer, the movement of Argilagos or that front foot boxing from Dusmatov? It's a close one, this. It most certainly is. My goodness, the best two light flyweights in the world have just produced a terrific contest in the gold medal bout here at Hamburg 2017. 
There are the fans of Hassan Boydouz Matov, an abundance of Uzbekistan flags in, a, in evidence here at the Hamburg Sports Hall. He gave it absolutely everything. So too did the reigning champion from Doha two years ago. Who's going to be declared the winner by the five judges using the 10 point must system? Some excellent boxing from both uh, boxers in this round. The timing from Argilagos with those counter attacking moves was tremendous, it really was. But Dusmatov, he threw volume, definitely went to him. Occasionally, Argilagos lapsing concentration, holds his feet. Close one. It's Argilagos! Johannes Argilagos is absolutely ecstatic. He has retained the world championship that he won in Doha two years ago. He gets his first victory over Hassan Boydouz Matov. And the reigning Olympic champion comes away with world championship silver in a contest that was incredibly close. 3-2 to Tiny Giants on the scorecards, and he sings to the canvas in celebration at having successfully retained his world championship with a masterful display in a hard-fought, nail-biting contest. It was indeed. It was very close, Ronald, wasn't it? I thought it was 3-2 either way. It, that could have gone easily to Dusmatov, but Argilagos got it. His, his more accurate work, his better movement. Obviously, the judges are really appreciated those skills of his. What an exceptional little boxer this fella is. 3-2 split decision, it could have gone either way, but he gets it.